All right, then, did you get all wrapped up in the sheet? Are you wrapped up like a burrito? What are you going to do? Another spray day completed. It's a very nice night. No wind. All right, it's April 25th and uh, it's been windy for like two months. Today, there's still a little wind, but uh, it's, it's good enough to spray. And so we're going to uh, have a, try to have a good day today, uh, spraying several different fields and uh, kind of getting caught up um, to uh, get ready to plant milo and soybeans uh, on some different fields here on the farm. So Nathan and I spent uh, yesterday spraying as well. Uh, we got my field done and another field over by my house. And then this morning uh, I drove the, uh, the water trailer here um, about 15 miles. So we went from one end of the farm all the way to the other end and uh then nathan brought the sprayer over so uh, we're gonna spend the day over here and uh, when we get done over here we'll head back to the farm called an inductor tank and uh, you can pour your chemicals um, down here and it mixes them into the big tank of the sprayer and we also have another inductor on the trailer where we can put stuff in there ahead of time once you get the sprayer up you just pull the valve down uh, we've got roundup in this big tote up here and that connects to the uh, inductor tank so uh, before Nathan gets here, I, I fill the inductor tank up with 15 gallon of Roundup. And then uh, once we're going, we just flip that valve, nice and easy. And then we're putting the rest of the uh, chemical in down below here. Uh, most of what you see Nathan spraying in the video is water. We're putting a uh, thousand gallon of water in the tank. So 90% water. And then we've got just, just a few other chemicals we're putting in here. Uh, Roundup controls grass, and then some of these other chemicals control broadleaf or provide residual control. And so uh, different chemicals have different modes of action, and the goal is to have a clean field uh, for when we plant uh, Milo here in a couple weeks. All right, well, I was going to fly the drone, but turns out I grabbed the wrong battery. Uh, so... I grabbed the dead battery and not the fully charged one, so no drone flying today. We will have to try again some other time. Shout out to Flying Ag uh, for this drone. We've been using it for quite a few years now. All right, so this morning Nathan and I got the uh, spraying done. Now this afternoon Kendall and I are going to take the uh, Kubota Sidekick out to uh, the Lamer pasture, is what we call it, which that mean it's lamer than all the rest of them it's a last name it's a last name so uh, we're gonna take the sidekick out we're taking some t-posts we're gonna try to fix some spots in the fence uh, which you saw us do a couple videos ago but it was so windy we couldn't even tell you what was going on so uh, it's a little breezy today but uh, I think you'll be able to at least hear what we're saying all right so what are we gonna use these t-posts for um. Our wire fence has been there a long time, so if there's ever any like kind of rotted off old wood posts, I replace them with the seat posts. And then, then we have to check the electric fence because we're going to have to change the arrangement of the electric fence because three of the ponds are totally dry. 
or dry. And only two ponds have water in them, so we need a rain. Is, is gonna be interesting. We need a rain. All right, so we are here uh, at the edge of one of our pastures. And you can tell the uh, fence is in a little rough shape. That post is completely broken in half. This one, four out of the five wires were just hanging loose. Hang loose. Um, but uh, I've got, I'm basically tying, tying each of the wires to the post. And then down there, we'll show you, we have another issue. So here is the spot farther down. There was a, a wreck here. I think it's a drunk driving accident and they took out our fence and hasn't got put back up yet so we're gonna have to find something to put across there It's empty. Dad did some work on it too. He built up the pond dam because it actually totally eroded and it overflowed and eroded over in 2019. Which is why he fixed this uh, spring. But most of our pasture ponds look like that right there. So this used to be a county road that came through here and we've cleared these trees out. But uh, here you can see that used to be a road 50 years ago used to be a county road. All right, here's the cows and calves that are going to be grazing that uh, paddock we just worked on the fence. So it's a, what is it, 70 acres of pasture here? It's 80 and 80. Yeah, this is an 80 here, and then we have the 80 cat corner. So there's a little, little bit of space that will take them through. We'll just walk them over there. Hi, Blair! And Ada. Ada's, Ada's asleep. By the mail. Ada's asleep. We've got two way traffic, or one way traffic. Two lanes of traffic. Passing lane. Passing lane. Picking up sticks in Nathan's field today. We took out some trees by this pond here. worked our way all along here and all along up the hill there. Everybody else breaking their backs. I've got my uh, handy dandy picker upper tool. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, that would never work. Well, guess what? It does. Need some rain to green up these pastures. They're looking a little brown and that pond right there is empty. And so is that one up on the hill. <laughs> you love that, huh? I'm getting a good view up here. Can you scratch the table? Good job. You like that texture? Man, we've got a traffic jam out here on the gravel roads. One, two, three. This is our fourth day this week to have a significant chance of rain. And so far, we have nothing to show for it. We still have some chances in the future, but uh, this one looks like it's going to go around us.
Hey guys, look over here. Do you want to go hey, right there? Brighton. Right here. Go back up there. We're <laughs> look at you guys. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> That's your favorite spot, isn't it? Have fun! It is seriously the perfect weather. It would be better if it was raining, but we do have a chance of rain tomorrow, like we said. So we're gonna enjoy the sunshine today and hopefully we'll enjoy a rainy day tomorrow. Here they come, they're all done. As you can see, she's very happy. Can you shut the door? Push, 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 push. Push, yeah. Whoa. How strong, how strong is Blair? <laughs> Go. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with us for part of our pretty Sunday outside. We're going to go have some cheeseburgers and we will let y'all know if it rains tomorrow. We're really hoping that it does. <laughs> Blair, can you wave bye bye? So it is uh, the next day. Uh, it did rain a little bit. Um, I can't see. I'm thinking maybe like 30 hundredths so far. We're hoping for a little bit more tonight. We'll take it though. We'll take it for sure. And it's been cloudy and kind of drizzly all day. So maybe it'll add up to more than that. <laughs> Doing a little bit of office work uh, here right now. And then uh, we have some prep work to do for some concrete that we're pouring later in the week. Uh, but being that it was kind of rainy today, I think we're going to do that tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Yeah.